the law is very clear about parental responsibility. Yes. The only people who automatically have parental responsibility are the mother and father of a child. Yes. So even DNA can even exonerate you. You see. So in the particular case you mentioned, this man who took off the well-off man yes. is very safe. So he does not need to pay any child support based on the lies this woman did told. Not even because of the lies, because he's not the father. He's of not the children. father biologically. Okay. And if you had accepted responsibility, maybe by law, you go and take a guardianship orders or yeah, um, how about that, that kind of thing, then he's still bound because of the guardianship order, but he can go to court and have that vacated by court. As when I took up this guardianship, this woman had misled me to believe the father of these children was dead. Mm -hmm. Subsequent to that, I've now found that the man is alive and well and actually even wants me to take care of the, of the kids. So now I don't want to be a guardian anymore. Okay. Mm. The court can vacate that order and they'll be free. And now let me take you back to something that you have said. You have, uh, you have indicated that unfortunately or fortunately, depending on wh whoever is looking at the case, that the law favors the woman in terms of uh, child support. I that's what okay no, well that's what you've implied no i didn't okay i'm sorry about that I didn't, okay but okay correct me i didn't say the law favors mm -hmm. this discussion favors oh. okay, the, the, <laughs> because of having two man, ladies yes. <laughs> no 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 really that's that's a, okay <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was okay, because was looking, no, no, it's okay. The no, it's is cute. No, it's good. Yes, I, I get that. I get yeah. that. I get what you're saying. And the stigma of a man going to say, "Mama and Dakota Pesa." Yeah, but, uh, you know. But uh, I want to bring a scenario where I have seen it, and I've seen a lot of women complain about it. That yes, you take Mr. Alex to court uh, for uh, for child support, and when you reach there. The court awards you 7,000 shillings. The court awards you 15,000 shillings because it has become a norm and you know it. Uh, have I you know heard it, about I mean. it? So the question I am asking today is, and many people think the way you've just mentioned, and it's okay. It's a conversation that let's just put it on the table. That is how the society feels like. By the time a woman is taking you to court, they will be favored. But if we are honest, 7,000 shillings in this economy, will it actually raise that child per month? And yeah. is it fair that the courts actually award that uh, very little money when it comes to child support so basically how is child support calculated okay layman first i want to go back and repeat i didn't say the law or the <laughs> courts favor the women first the conversation okay. does yes two yeah. previously there used to be a large burden imposed by the courts actually mm -hmm. on the fathers or you know, the males yes. to provide more for the minor than the women yes i remember but that nowadays the law is so equitable if a man is better off and you can prove they're better off than the than the mother of the child, of course they're going to be told to pay the 200k, the 150k, the whatever that they can afford. But if a man comes and says, this is my pay slip, I am 30 Gs. There even cases where the court has said, fine, you have this child, no problem. That will be taken care of. Mm -hmm. But this man, madame, I would yeah. make orders for this one and then the other three suffer. So to balance square water. You'll find women who have well-paying jobs, who are fairly comfortable, but maybe, it's, I don't want to say smallest, but, you know, they just feel you need to also participate in raising the minor. Then they come at you and say, I want the 150k. My child must go to Brayside. And the guy says, dude, I can afford the 2.5 at your public school. Mm. I've got to say, give him the 2.5. Top up the one you want to take that child. Top up. I So that is what... So the court is trying to really balance mm. between, we, we want to take care of the children, but you don't want to inequitably burden one parent over another. That's the thing. How how does the court determine that this guy is not lying? You are required to file an affidavit of means, mm -hmm. which is sworn under oath. And you say, my salary is this, these are my expenses, or this, and my side hustle gives me this and whatnot. Even so side hustles? Any income any you receive income. that can be used for the benefit of the minor you're supposed to disclose. Then any expenditure that then impacts that. So you file an affidavit of means, the mother or the other parties of files there yeah. and the court ways and sees who can afford what. Okay. Before we get to the affidavit of means, allow me to take you just back a little <coughs> bit. Uh, when we talk matters court, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, I know the law requires that both parents contribute these days if it's very 50-50. Now, because the judge knows maybe this child, and I'm not talking about someone who is taking the child to Brayside. This is an average Kenyan. The child maybe goes to a public school or even a private school that they pay 20,000 shillings. Now, is it possible for the courts to, uh, to rule that... You remove 
15 I remove 15 as in because you talked about equitable distribution can there be equitable distribution when it comes to child support because I feel the stories that I've had out here no one gets equitable sometimes the men feel that hey they be the ruling is unfair or the women feel well, the same we have to think of it this way equitable is not equal yes 50 I've, 50 is equal yes because I do that don't do that anymore unless okay. both parents are equally capable um, of contributing okay. in which case it's 50 50 but the instance that balance is skewed one way or the other this party carries this weight, this party carries other weight. It's just simple. It's equitable. What can you do and what else are you doing? So if you have the other two kids plus this kid and another kid on the other side. But why should I care four. about the other children? And I'm sorry, I'm, I don't sound insensitive. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> assuming. I'm super tacotini. I'm assuming. 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 I'm he says, I have a child with Carigo, who, Miriam, and I'll be... So, how is it... If he says those things, he has to prove it. Whoever alleges a fact must prove it. So he has to come with birth certificates and whatnot and say, I want a new angle. You can see about certificates. So, that is how men have, have been getting away paying 7,000 no, shillings. No, many men get away <laughs> paying 7,000. Actually, and even women, by saying they don't have a job. I know clients who even quit. They did quit their job than pay. Are you serious? Are you, a woman's coming to say, I want 150k. You are yeah. maybe 250. So I didn't find your car. No, she's soft. Because you know, if, if he's paying rent, he's paying yes. upkeep and whatnot, yeah. the woman is so benefiting. So they broke up acrimoniously. And they caught me in a car. In the photo. Until they finish, then they look for a job. They won't finish anything. Because the responsibility for a minor goes up to when they're 18. Yeah. And so you'd rather not have a job just to prove a point to your ex-wife or if baby mama? If you walk mama? the corridors up or children's court and family, the family oh, division, oh, oh, you are in a car. Yeah. Yeah. You are buying. Yeah. It's bad. What's your name? You're 7,000. I'm going to be upset. 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 Barbara is always like seven cases. Because I've seven made, seven to be very honest, <laughs> I've had men, and some of them are my friends. Yeah. Hi, darlings. I know you're listening, some of you. They are so happy that they were awarded 7,000. <laughs> and you talked about an affidavit of means. Yeah. I don't know, but I feel people do lie when it comes that's to why, the affidavit that's like, of means. And how do you prove, like, how can you really prove that these are all his sources of income? He's driving a German machine, but yeah. he's saying it has no income? Mm-mm. Utendo pate yo machine mkuko jina kampu ni mkuko jina mamake. So the idea is, and I'm just asking this from a layman's language, uh, if someone has uh, custody uh, or you're suing for child support, mm. you need to prepare your documents or you prepare everything that you're going to fight for Th this, this child. A, this no, let's just be serious. Please break down for us what you mean by receipts mm. for someone who's seated there yeah. and they want to sue an Ebkadneza or they want to sue a uh, Carigo mm. yes Kwanza, in terms of mam uh, matters affidavit what like what do they need to have specifically you need to from start yeah your own income okay so basically versus the child's uh, expenditures so here's my invoice from from school when I buy uniform this is a cost and when I go for shopping it's like 15k a month 20k a month depending on how you live uh, the nanny is paid X amount. So anything that you pay, medical cover, I can hear Muli Paivi. So everything you do, receipt, 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 receipt. What when if I go take out to play, um, on Sunday uh, bouncing castle? A buoy, get a, a receipt. Get a receipt for all expenses. Uh, that's one. That's your part. Uh -huh. So you can come to the court and say, I earn 100K. The child cost me 60K of that 100. Yeah. Rent, nihi nai. So to the, uh, the nanny takes this. Yeah. Then my rent is this, the utility is nihi. So no. Then the man will come and say, well, that's all well and good. I only earn. Why? Now he has no affidavit of means. Yes. And these are my expenses as well. So the court is going to look at that and say, who here is best placed to contribute to the upbringing of this minor? Yeah. You see? Yeah. And then it balances out based on who has what and who can, who can afford what towards the upkeep of the minor. While trying to maintain a certain quality of life. Yes. There are certain inalienable rights of the, of the children. You see? So they, they balance that out based on the affidavit of means. You have to understand, mm -hmm. it's unfortunate that people lie. It's true, but it's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. uh, 
it, that's perjury. You can actually be jailed for that. It's an if you can prove it now, the other person is yeah. lying. If you can prove they're lying, then that's perjury because they saw something under oath to, just before court and all that. It's just unfortunate. It's, it's, the system as designed can work yeah. if people are honest. And more importantly, people are responsible. There's a question Duchess has asked, and I said, Ebu, wait, because mm -hmm. that one bothers me a lot but when we come back i'll ask it if you're in the conversation we are the adults in the room and we are asking what you need to know before suing for child support this is a question what men and women need to be listening and not that we're propagating that all of you go to child uh, to court for child support but i just learned that some of you can even decide to resign your jobs just because you are thinking someone is going to enjoy your money wow let me leave you with when you are mad with Neo. <laughs> Spice. What does it what does support entail when it comes to child support? What are the mandatories, the must? Definitely shelter, food, clothing. Okay. Education. And then you get into other rights like protection from labor and armed conflict, protection from sexual abuse, protection from um what's called some cultural practices, you know, yeah, like yeah. FGM and the like, or protection from that. You have to give them what's called leisure. Mm. So leisure is one of the rights of a child now. Imagine. Leisure and entertainment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, you know why she's asking that question? Why we had a conversation I... in between the week, I yeah. think last week. Yeah. And I was telling him uh, that, for example, if I was to sue for child support or something, I would ask for travel. Mm. And she told me that I'm being ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. and, and my argument, and please correct, uh, correct me, this child is used to a particular lifestyle. This child travels. Gwenda Ocha. Ocha ni Christmas. <laughs> but if, if, I know, uh, for example, I know different children have different lifestyles. Yeah. But if this child is accustomed to a certain lifestyle, uh, there's a child who goes for Bouncing Castle on Saturdays, uh, they're taken for pizza or whatever, and the woman can quantify it, or the man can quantify it, depending on who remains with the children, because these days dynamics are different. Mm -hmm. And if travel, and I can prove that in the last two years, this child has traveled to this place, this place, the village, the coast, whatever. Is that something I can use as receipts to the court in the event I feel this man has the capability of paying that or this woman? Most definitely. And I'll just go back to what I had said. Receipts. Receipts. And more importantly, now that we're not together, who can afford what? Um. So if we're not going on those trips, you used to go half-life. Or you have frequent flyer miles, you used to use your miles and they pay for accommodation and whatnot. Yeah. I'll say, okay, that's fine. I could do that because I wasn't paying rent independently. Okay. I wasn't buying my own food or my own shopping or my own um, say, uh, nanny or whatever. So I also have things I'm doing now mm. that we used to combine then. So if I could show more 60k per, per year for this tour, I can now do 25. Because now there's other realities I'm dealing with. And they could say, fine, 12, 25 towards it, leisure. Is there a place where instead of us going to court, is there something like that? We can decide to just sit with our lawyers or and discuss mm -hmm. our way forward and then it it will stick because sometimes I see people defaulting. Yeah. If we don't want to just go to the uh, judicial system and the whole court process. When it comes to family matters, I'm a big, big advocate of uh, mediation. And just, just, just talk about it. Mm. You'll go to court, you're going to say things you can't take back, they'll be on the record. It's really damaging to the general, you know, aura and the you know, relationship. And you are trying to raise a baby cat cat here. Yes. You know. Yeah. So if you can do that well and good, you go draw up a parental responsibility agreement. It's taken to court and the court adopts it as an order of the court. So it becomes a court order. Yeah. So if you agree, I'll be chomoying X amount for rent, school fees, niangu, yakoni medical because you have cover maybe from your mm -hmm. employer and so on and so forth. You write all that down and it goes to court and the court adopts it as an order of the court. So that person, I, uh, no party can bail out of it. It's a court order. The same way I'm going to be going to court in. But now I'm going to like civilized people. <coughs> like parents who love their mind. I'm going So once it comes back from court, it's not the same force as any court order. Okay. Yes. Once upon a time, and this is for the social media people. So now I, I you know, love suit for child support. The court has ordered yada yada. The man does, the man fails to pay one month, two months, three months. Once upon a time, you know, I saw on social media this lady. <laughs> <laughs> like, if this, that story is to make me happy because it used to be like clockwork every month, <laughs> every 30th. Yeah, she. Kai! 
enyewe this gender she goes she posts and she mulikazi on kot and almost immediately she mulikazi he pays then she takes she puts it down then the next month when he doesn't pay she mulikazi i don't know who has more resilience the man or the woman so no, they used to do that yeah. like, it's a of spice yeah. fm yeah. you have not paid child support Paka tagging the employer and tagging yes, the employer sure and that. yes no. yeah You well, did? Is, uh, what what? Yeah. And this was a media personality. I think yes. I'd be sending you a chance yeah. in advance. So now the question is first and foremost, what she was doing was it legal? Secondly, can he sue back because it's like you're putting our business out there. We uh, went to court. Well, this see, is social media. Sue because of saying that anything about defamation, libel, slander that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And justification is an absolute defense. If you go to court and say, but you said this in public and what not. But Did you do it? With that answer is yes. Had you paid child support? No. He hadn't paid. So, so she was justified. So she was just giving her truth. right. You cannot say I've defamed you by saying the truth. Okay. Because defamation is uh, is not true. Yes. Okay. You said something that is designed to mislead um or to damage my image in the minds of right thinking members of society. Okay. Once unfounded. You see. But if you said the truth, then that's no quite little. Yes. Ojalipa. So that can't be helped. I like it I like to take you back one step just from the previous question when you were talking about court orders and what has been ruled by the court that both parties need to do. Now for example we have been let's say it's you and me and they've decided that we need to pay for Carigo our daughter school fees this this and everything was split. Then two years down the line you get a good job. You get elected by ambassador or we know you the CEO but by the time we were in court mm. you didn't have that job. Mm. Can I go back to court? and ask for fresh orders because now you have a better paycheck yes most definitely remember about uh, equitable yes. assignment yeah. of responsibility yes. yes so at the point the court made that decision it was equitable that you chomo 60 chomo 20 yes my circumstances have now improved mm-hmm. for 60 60 they have improved again I should take up another hundred and blah mm-hmm. and so on and so forth so, so every time you improve I can be taking you to court yes, hey, now this is dangerous change, so. and what if <laughs> it's not it's very dangerous <laughs> by the no no it's very no it's very <laughs> dangerous to anyone on the other side of the device I can imagine if it's a man or a woman because you'd be taken to court yeah. men can end up taking ladies to court because maybe initially you're the one who's paying more you removed 60 20 now you see I've come to Spice FM all of a sudden you start I, I, saying I like how you immediately fell into the saying about the conversation favoring <laughs> yeah so it's okay if the man's life is no no even it's unfair for the man a, a woman can improve see the zuri men can take us <laughs> not even for the man it's unfair I guess you don't <laughs> yeah it's the very conversation <laughs> tells in favor of the woman see, so question <laughs> what <laughs> if <laughs> the salo of the guy or the babe reduces can you still go back to court the circumstances have changed yeah. so no longer okay. equitable i can no longer sustain this okay I can do 150 then yeah downtown covid all our salaries were cut yes. by half yeah. i can't do 150 anymore okay yeah. i can maybe squeeze 60 ah. and this is a proof and we don't need to do the court system we can still do the arbitration mediation thing yeah. fast before we do the court system if you join the conversation with the adults in the room what you need to know before suing for child support mm. yes this goes for men and women some of us have been playing cat and mouse games i see a question on social media let us pick that question from uh is it facebook or instagram first mm. let's do the facebook one let's do the facebook one yes i really like that one the one from the gentleman so caller kennedy says as nick ask nick let's say i'm a billionaire son and dependent on my parents because i don't have an income of my own can my parents pay for my child upkeep oh lord of mercy our oh, entitled children let me just rearrange myself <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah do answer that yeah. no your parents can't pay for you not by law okay. okay i'm what but you know how grandparents are so <laughs> watching on their grandchildren yes and i could pick up my muizi then the other one hey, to close you yes, yeah it's yeah. no, fine so they can if they want to but they're not legally ob- obligated to so i can't Parental responsibility uh, attaches to so that particular father. person can be just a deadbeat father living in a billionaire uh, living in a billionaire because you said you could be driving the company car but exactly. you can't pay the child support but i don't want to speculate because alita georgina no no i'm just i'm just, no, no, no we are just asking a question no it, <laughs> it can't work in that situation 
Wow. Uh, what about Emmanuel? Emmanuel Hunger? asks, um, please let him talk about alimony and also why is it the man should always pay for child support because I believe it should be a 50-50 equal share for both parents. And lastly, about the custody of a child, it is 99% given to women, which I totally disagree. Uh, I want you to answer the part of alimony, then we go on the break, then we come back and answer that. Is okay. that okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Cool. Alimony. Yes. Alimony is like uh, maintenance for your former spouse. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So it goes both ways. A man can get alimony, a woman can get alimony. It depends yes. on who is more comfortable and can sustain a certain quality of life that they are accustomed to and blah, 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 blah. So if you, the billionaire son marries you, now she has a soft life. At you, you see the way Barbara, Barbara, it's that's the role of Ali Wari. <laughs> She's not imagining being a guy <laughs> chooms every month. <laughs> You see, but you see, again, the conversation is skewed in favor of women. Because which man, how many men actually go there to ask for alimony? I've had. Even in fact, there was a case last year and we were very upset. To, you know many? that. Yes, but how many? How frequently? <laughs> the men, they break up and they go back to watch her. But they'll yeah. never come to ask you for a penny. Because of women pride. tend to ask. Because of pride. I'm a society. Not only, but also. 80% of the cases I've handled. Women are asking for alimony. Yeah, but see, that, that pride is pressure from society. You don't want to be seen as, you know, oh, man's really in the being taken What exactly do they ask for? Out of curiosity, because I'm trying to figure out if, if honestly, yes, I'm not comfortable paying a man alimony. That is true, what she's saying. I find that very distasteful. I don't know if I can. I'm one of those people now who's going to run away to pay for it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll be caught. But even for the women who ask for it, I always ask myself, can't you work? You can ask for child support for the children. That is understandable. But why are you asking? For that alimony but you've been a wife spousal need support spousal. no that's what you you that's what you deserve you as a wife as what depending on the dynamics of the relationship the but you finished being the wife why do you want it why do you want to be supported but the time you have two legs but i was so away but yes then. but you are that is past present no, maybe, maybe, maybe have probably you are supporting supported. probably you are supporting me because i was raising your kids and I couldn't work. And now I'm going to be supporting the kids. And me, who was raising the children. <laughs> Excuse me, you guys don't joke. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh my I God. Know, but they, they usually ask for money. And ah. then the couple say, but you're in the matrimonial home, so leave your rent. So ah. they factor that in. Then they say, but you're also working, so as you party all your money, but you provide for yourself. Are you able to work? And says, yes, you have the skill set and everything. So we won't turn this money into a donkey for you, so talk to balance goes back to equity yeah the cost nowadays are really 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 balanced yeah 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 that when i we do discuss agree. the issue of succession and distribution of property mm, yes we mm, said mm. they consider so many factors not just 50 50 anymore you're Alicia. spice okay but in fact i want to ask even part two he's talked about the custody of a child it's, it's given to 99 yes it's given to women uh there are two custodies divided into two parts or something like that right I'm a, okay Custody, define for us custody when it comes to the child children's the, the, act. The simplest way to put it is who lives with the child. Who the primary custody. Yeah. Kind of sort of on the day to day. Mm -hmm. Okay. So even if you take your kid for the weekend or on holidays, you're not the primary custody. You're not primary custody of the minor. Okay. Whoever has a child daily, every day, that's a custodian. And you think more often than not, it favors women than men. You remember how I said by saying the conversation is skewed? Yes. yes. That's your turn. Because the law is very clear, 20, uh, section 24.3 yes. of the Children's Act. Yes. First, the mother. Yes. And then now we start discussing. I mean, of course, I'm a course age? happy. Yes, yeah. Yes. But first, the mother. Okay. That's is just it, the law. Is it true that, okay, I've had this, and you can just correct me if it's a myth or if it's true, that yes, primary custody is usually given to the mother unless she's unwell, she's a drug addict, or she's insane, or she's done something that is very heinous. That prevents her from having the child. Is that how the law works? Yeah, because I know we usually protect ourselves on that terms. Uh, but I'm not so sure if it's the law or it's something that us women came up with. No, it's the law. Mm -hmm. And there's so much jurisprudence around that area. Okay. The, you have to prove that the mother is in un unsuitable to have that child. What so of makes the man? Yes. Oh, not, never, uh, never money. Okay. Ne yes. Yeah. Never money. Never yeah. money. Yeah. Never money. Never okay. money. But it's for a speak. man, that money comes to play. No, really. Did you say that? Same. Same things. Mm. We have shared parental responsibility with the means right to, to have custody of the minor. So for the mother to be disqualified, like you're saying, she's unwell, she's unstable, mm. 
she's not mentally in a good place because I know mothers will say, let's take the child and mm. need to breathe. Mm. Yes. You know, and that's also okay. It's mm. not a bad thing. Yes. Because if you're not in a good place mentally, it impacts the minor's well being mentally as well. Mm. So the court looks into all these factors. Those drug addicts, alcoholics, never in the house, so not giving parental actual care, parental yeah. guidance and care. Yeah. Uko na mtoto but unashinda. Uko mm. out, you're traveling, mm. you're doing blah. So you end up, you find the child's being raised maybe by a nanny or something. Yeah. Or jirani, akonja mefungiwa nyumba, because maybe you're, you're blacked out or something. Small, small things. Mm. So it's not a safe environment for the minor. Okay. And then the court can say, but is it safe for the minor where the father is? Mm. If the answer is also no, certain other steps follow. Court appointed guardian, fit person, a relative. You know, the court now looks mm. into other options because yeah. neither parent is fit. Okay. But if the other one is fit, the kid goes there. On the same, uh, on the same question, we're talking about parental custodian. I have seen this in about two two people that I know that the father has uh, taken custody of a child. Okay, he fought and gave his reasons as to why, and he won the case and took these beautiful girls. And everyone actually thought the woman would be given, but the court awarded the man for various reasons. Now, on another case, I saw the woman saying that she just needed time out. She was not in the right space, and the man should tell the children. About a year later, she wanted to take the children back, and it has been a battle for the last three years what could cause such a strain uh, given that the court initially usually gives primary custodian to the mother but just because she let it go for some time would it be very difficult to get it back to get her children back i think okay i, I don't have all the facts so i'm going yeah. to speak so you yeah, yeah. Uh, i'd say this the, the, depending the on the grounds things, for mm. her saying she can't keep the minors for now mm. Maybe the psychological, like I just mentioned, yes. in a good space. So she has she to go produce through a divorce. documentation mm -hmm. and from a psych psychiatrist and everything to prove now she's in a good space. You see, likely a student's officer would have to visit her home to see based on how you are and how the kids are now. Is it a wise idea to move them to you, or are they better off with the dad? They're going to consider that as well. You may find the kids have, uh, are so comfortable, they form such a bond with their father. That moving them from where the father is to the mother will be detrimental to their mental well-being. Remember, I told you the children's court doesn't care about their parents. Mm. That's true, but the question what is, what is best for the minor? So, if if you find you may find, fine now you're okay mentally. Yes. But what will this move back to the mom do to the children? But How when I said I was not time? okay mentally, did you people actually? Uh, investigate or take me to hospital to prove it. I said by word of mouth, why is it that after a year when I am asking to have the children back, why should I be succumbed to going through medical tests and all these people yet initially when I said it, no one checked. Is that really fair? It's very fair. <laughs> How? Uh, I'll tell you why. If, if, if a grown up, a parent comes to the court and says, I can't keep these children. Yes. The first reaction of the court is by all means to achukua. Okay. We've had the horror stories, mothers yeah. doing this and then and yeah. younger and whatnot. Yes. By all means, to a Okay. That has to be step one. Okay. It has to be step one. Then if you come back to court and say, now nah, I'm okay, I'm not giving them back. You need to know, are you actually okay? Mm. Or will they come there for six weeks and then it's too much again? Mm. They're moving back to their dad. Okay. I have to be sure. Stability. You know, kids need stability. Okay. Yeah. Why is, okay, and uh, this is just something that has just run through my mind. Um, the law says that a child below 10 years is given to the mom. Is it 12? 10. Below 10 years. Even if you know, is uh, it uh, true? Uh, the thing is this for me. Why? All these things yeah. depend on interpretation by court. Okay. I, I, I have clients who took kids who are 8 months. Yes. Girl kids wow. from their mothers because mm. this environment is not good for the child. Mm. Your environment is better. Okay. So while well, the law might have certain parameters that you know they fall back on, trust you, when you go to court, mm. the court will consider its circumstance on its merits. Okay. It's a case by case thing. Different strokes for different folks. Exactly. Okay. okay. Can, is it expensive to go to court to sue for child support? Advocates can be expensive. Okay. Thank but, you. Uh, thank you. Uh, sorry, for an advocate. Uh, not me particularly. Oh yeah. Right. Some, some so others. Really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Your friends. <laughs> We're filing anything in the children's court since uh, there was a court fees uh, published in 2021. Yes. So filing children's, children's court matters is free. Oh. And you can go and defend yourself. Yeah. Thank you, you don't need an advocate. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ok
It's for us to have one. Because we don't have a car, we don't have a car, we do so we're better off coming with the advocate as well to yeah. assist you and, 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 and yeah. you need receipts you need this this is realistic yeah. let's make sure you say this in the affidavit we have to point this out to the court and so on yeah. you hear ladies go to court don't sit on you that see, you see what I of dead beat you see, you dad. Go to court. Earlier, ladies go to court. <laughs> go to court. Already women. Even, even men. men even go to men court. go to court. Spice. First husband. So then the second marriage fails. Who should be sued for child support? Eh. Buono Achilles. I like this question because there's actually there's literally a case where this same thing happened. Oh yes. wow. This woman had a kid with this man got remarried was uh, this child been taken care of with the new husband yes only for him to discover kumbe the biological father has also been sending chums every month <laughs> <laughs> so he found out he stopped providing for this kid and the woman sued him and the new man the court said you know lafigani so you can't find the same by provided for by two men no okay <laughs> that, but that's just greediness i do agree yeah. that is so greediness. in this instance uh once parental responsibility attaches to you, <laughs> it can never, you, you, you can't get out of it. <laughs> you can't. So the biological father is always on the hook. Yes, always. yeah. The, the new man is only liable if he has accepted parental responsibility. Yes. If he has taken the child as his own, and I provide no problem with that. And people if they break to, up, mm -hmm. and now there's no, let's say, parent apply for guardianship or adopt this child as his own then automatically that cuts off. The parental responsibility had attached on the father. And it will never stop attaching. Until the kid is 18 and above. Yeah. Oh, that's when child support ends, right? Yeah, except for if you can prove the have if ongoing encompass? education, that still attaches, the right yeah. education carries on. Uh, if there are special needs that require care yeah. of and above 18, stuff like that. Yeah. So it doesn't stop. Yeah. So, um, who is a child of tender age? What does that mean? It varies from act to act and circumstances, but I'd say anything under you're looking at 10 and below. Okay. That's from application in court. Mm -hmm. But then you'll find most guys think of it as 18 kwanda chini, but that's age of majority issues now. Yeah. What does that mean? Age of majority. Oh my word. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, let him explain yeah. age of majority. Mm. 18 and above. 18 and above. When you can vote okay. and drink and drive apparently in this country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But mainly vote. Mainly vote. Yeah. Wow. So, what I want to know is this, yeah. Mm. I've taken this guy to court. I've sued him. This is what the judge has ordered. This is the order that has been laid. But he's completely, completely been unable to pay. Mm -hmm. And he's proven that he cannot pay. What happens? I just let go. Okay, I like how you said he has proven he cannot pay. Yeah, you know because the whole... What, what the court thinks about is, is the default willful. If the default is not willful, then the court tends to have a very lenient view. Come on, Shelly Nishinda, I'm literally in Ocha. Yes. When you're seeing her, Jakarta, I generally don't have. Yes. The court is very lenient to those, those situations. Okay. Very lenient. If the default is willful, then... It's, it's, it's the court has many many options including civil jail really we do that in this country i thought it's only in the states ah they do it uh not less than five days no more than four weeks when they gain that so later kwanzo jiwazi i love from doctor after a month okay i think that's just unfair and then they, they can attach a salary no more than 45 percent of your mm -hmm. annual income though they can take your property and sell it guy yeah it's, it's bad <laughs> so someone if can the default is willful then the court is very aggressive about it. Let me take you back a bit. When the default is not willful, that means that the person who is being asked for child support is not able to pay. That's Completely. what you mean. There's, there's, so if the default is willful, sorry, I'm just trying to uh, get the words there. It means this person is able to pay but does not want to pay. Yes, has, has refused to pay oh, okay. or others neglected to pay. Okay. Yes. There's That's the money that we take into jail. someone was actually sick. Yes. And uh, they were taken to court for all those civil jail and shit. 
and stuff. You, no, you cannot say that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Replace. Yeah. We're cleaning the, air, the air of Yes. <laughs> and he was able to prove to court that I've been unwell for this period. Okay. Like a year and a half. Oh. I think cancer or stuff like that. Okay. And the court agreed, but he also applied for a stay. But what does that mean? A stay is like a pause on the orders. Okay. Don't enforce them yet. Give Till me I more get, time. Yeah, yeah. And the court said no. We'll excuse you for this period that you are unwell. Okay. Mm -hmm. we'll, that's not default. We won't punish you for it. We won't even aggregate it because the court can aggregate. And since mm -hmm. the last two years, you've not been paying the 20 Gs per month, so that's X amount total. Pay. With interest. Lump sum. Rarely interest. Okay. Because it was meant supposed to be putting to okay. the use of the mine and not investing. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get <laughs> that. And I know yes. most of you when I invest. <laughs> <laughs> so they won't even bill you for that. No problem. Okay. We won't mm -hmm. compound it. But going forward, comply okay and that thing i said lightly it's actually true i know guys who take that child support and then immediately invest it in their own things may god forgive people they're, they're perfectly capable of handling oh so they just wanted that's why you wear lip up here so okay lip uh, now this is this might seem but an off question for example uh there's an ebkadnezza and there's a barbara here and uh barbara has decided you know what this one's going to give me a headache when it comes to child support so it is okay i don't want anything to do with this particular person they neither help they neither they neither support this particular person now going forward when this child is growing up and uh, we have matters maybe of wedding or, or things when they're doing life when this man wants to come to the picture we've had and had conversations here where you hear women want to deny the rights and i object to that the rights are for the man to see the child or the woman to see the child because maybe they're not chipping in as they should does the law protect any man and woman from that you're not allowed to keep any one parent away from the man yeah because we see that quite a lot you're not allowed in law okay it's, so if it's, that it's is happening can someone actually go to court i've actually handled a case where a man wanted to take care of the child mm -hmm. wanted to see the child wanted to bond with the child and the mom flat out refused i come to around two years she went out of the country mm -hmm. left the child with the mother with very strict instructions but then same one so we had to go to court because the dad wanted to pay yeah. for the upkeep of the minor he wanted to interact with the minor so he had court supervised visits mm. then it was now the nanny has to come then eventually he was allowed to interact freely with the child and provide so if you want to eat the money you eat it but i'm providing for my child okay because there are men out there that's true yeah. there are men that are actually fighting to have access to the kids to provide for their kids mm -hmm. it's more common than you'd, you'd imagine yeah. okay but middle the woman is busy poisoning the child but the father is never here at a, at a you mm -hmm. know and yet the, the father is really struggling to get access the child's life. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. but you see um hmm. someone has written a comment here scott schofield he's giving a story and uh, it's please very it. It, no it's very long he's just they're talking about how this it's it's an american story how this guy this babe got custody and she got it in lump sum and then she ate it <laughs> and then she went back and asked for more and of course the court denied her but i'm thinking if you have a woman and you know she's very problematic and this is the amount the court has said you pay every month can you just pay for like the whole year then we say to paterna next year is that feasible is it possible is it something I, that I, can I, work what if you choose I, I, the money because it's already I a, been agreed the amount yeah. uh, this is my challenge i'm supposed to give you say a mic in the course of the year yes yeah. january comes here's your brick chikua. let's talk in january next year mm -hmm. you've gone and squandered it when you come back to court what's the court going to consider the child uh oh and who has the money to continue providing yeah M me that's that's my why i'm not saying it will go that way yeah i'm not saying it will go that way but the court might think of it that way of course there may be some opportunity for you to say obviously this woman is not responsible She's teaching our child the wrong values. Mm. Even with money, mm -hmm. give me the child. You never know. But I, I don't know. I don't think I'd risk it. Uh, I, I don't think it's wise. Yeah. I don't think. Just I, I'd rather fix my account then every month, standing only in a party. Yeah. Month on month That's why I say sometimes, depending on the woman you married to or you had a child with, 
look for the avenues if you need to pay school fees pay direct to the school yeah. mm. pay this pay the rent don't give some people money because greediness sometimes is in, in inculcated in people's blood or instilled yeah that's a pain to trick to kishika nyingi wanta unasa unasika nikaita Aisha ile deal yangu ya June ikiiva nita replace hapa and then things don't work out that, you know it so becomes a mess so liwali walo the court always number one the f- like it doesn't matter it's the child who comes first it's literally called the children's court i like what it's you in call, the name because you know <laughs> me i've seen people using this toros of child support to just frustrate the baby mama or baby daddy allow me to pick this call hello spice please reduce the volume of your radio or your gadget hello how are you fine thank you yeah i have a question huh? Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Please proceed. Yeah, I ha- like I have a question. Like I have three kids and uh, maybe two kids uh, want to stay with the father and one kid want to stay with the mother. What uh, will happen in that situation? Sir, hello. Yeah. Please reduce the volume of your radio or your gadget. Much better. Thank you very much. Proceed with the question. Okay, what I'm asking, an example, you have three kids, eh? or four kids, uh, and then maybe the two of them uh, refuses to stay with the mother, wants to stay with the dad, and the two wants to stay with the mom or the dad. What normally happens in this situation? Will the court allow for that division to happen? Okay, let's have the advocates respond to that. Thank but you. from my experience courts are usually very hesitant to split children very hesitant okay but i have seen instances where if a child is say 12 and over they understand what they're saying they know what they want mm-hmm. you'll find kids being brought to court and being asked who do you want to live with yes is that fair yes they yes. yes in fact i had a question and it's very fair can you imagine a scenario where maybe your mom or your dad is never there you barely know this human being then the court is telling you and the only parent you've ever known Whoever had a bond with is this other one. Yeah. Didn't you really stress in that child? Okay. Yes. Actually, they'll be they're... miserable in that house. Yeah. Okay. You're psychologically so, yeah. affected. So they get them. to a particular age where they can speak for themselves. I've seen yeah. courts ask, do you want to be their mom or your dad? And say, I'm good dad. What if mm. the child and the whole has been coached? <gasps> so cook like piano and I took <laughs> the whole thing. What if the child has been coached? Trust me, you know a, a coach child. Unfortunately, I've been in this course enough. Yeah. I see okay. some of them do it privately sometimes. They don't ask in front of the parent if you feel they are being coached. Mm-hmm. They the have a session. Yes. Yeah. The magistrate, mm-hmm. the clerk, and I'm losing. Now I'm losing. So, you didn't get into the actual question. Yeah. Say, so, hello, who do you have to live with? Mm-hmm. Is, ah, are you how school? Oh, what class are you in? Any small who picks you up? Yeah, who does good, this? Yeah. Ah, who cooks up in the house? Yeah. Or oh, when you're sick, who takes you to hospital? Yeah. Blah, blah. So, they're establishing. Mm. Is there actually grounds for this child to say, I want to be with dad? The scared dad picks me from school, dad takes me to soccer, dad takes me to hospital on holiday, I go to dad, blah blah. Scared. Yeah, there's history here, yes. Mm. So the child says, I want to go with my dad, and I make sense. Mbona. Mm. Where is mom, 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 who don't go with my dad? Mm. Mm. Something is off here, yeah, yeah. If you join the conversation, we are the adults in the room, and we are asking. What are those questions you need to know or what are those things you need to know before suing for child support? Many of us sometimes find ourselves in dilemmas, in confusions or are what we call cavillos or fiascos with our spouses, baby mamas, <laughs> girlfriends. So today is one of those days we're saying throw in that particular question to the advocate and they will answer you as straightforward as it is. Spice.